I be in your YouTube? Yes, you are. Hey, hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back or welcome to the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today, we're gonna install this 85 inch Sony Bravia 4K TV on our back wall. As you can see, we've already installed the full motion wall mount to the wall. And we'll have a link in this video on how to install it. This is the Sony Bravia 85 inch X80CK series 4K TV. Sony is known for making fantastic TVs with amazing picture quality. So let's see if this TV lives up to the hype. So today we're gonna to install this TV, go over the specs and features, and test the picture quality. And at the end of this video, I'll give you my full review. So let's get started. Oh, and don't forget, hit subscribe. It's what the cool kids are doing. The X80CK is considered a budget-friendly 4K TV. If you can't afford an OLED or a QLED, then this TV could be a great option. This massive LED TV features a 4K resolution of 2160p, includes high dynamic range, Dolby Vision, 120Hz refresh rate, MotionFlow XR960, and Google TV with tons of preloaded apps. The inputs on this TV include four HDMI ports, two of which are HDMI 2.1 and includes HDMI ARC. Also includes two USB ports, one Ethernet port, one RF antenna, one digital optical audio output, and one composite video input, and it also has built-in Wi-Fi. Installing the wall mount bracket is pretty simple. This TV includes the wall mount bracket attachments. Once you remove the bolts from the back of the TV and replace them with the wall mount bracket attachments, then secure the wall mount bracket to the TV with those bolts and make sure everything is super tight. And I don't care how jacked you are or how much weight you can lift, you will definitely need two people to lift this TV onto the bracket. Fortunate for me, I have my son and my beautiful wife help me hang this massive TV. And I even cut myself. Now I can plug in the power and then remove the protective cardboard and all that protective tape. And there's a lot of it. And then we'll plug in all our HDMI cables. <laughs> as well as our ethernet cable for the network connection. You'll need a network connection to set up the Google TV. You can use wired or wireless. Next is a quick sound calibration. And we're ready for our first screen test. Let's go. This is Sony 4K. Right out the gate, the audio is pretty impressive. Normally, big screen TV speakers are pretty lackluster. They usually sound hollow, but these speakers sound really good. Beautiful. Crystal clear. It's amazing. This TV also includes a light sensor option that will automatically adjust the brightness according to the ambient light in the room. So guys, this screen resolution is incredible. The brightness on this TV is amazing. I actually turned down the brightness a little bit because it's too bright. But this is amazing. I'm gonna show you how to change some uh, settings on the TV screen itself. We'll go to settings. Right now we're in photo mode. So I'm gonna change that to custom. Let me show you how the Vivid looks because that's the one that really gives you that amazing color. Now look at that, that's incredible. It's almost too bright, almost too vivid. If you go here on the brightness, we can go up a little higher to max. Let's do max. This is the max settings, vivid with highest brightness setting. So all this 4K video we're watching is from YouTube. I wanted to choose some very colorful video with lots of motion. I wanted to test out the blues and the greens and the reds, as well as the blacks and then the whites. This TV's whites are very bright. And I recommend turning down the brightness a couple notches at least. And this TV comes with motion enhancement technology, Motion XR960. And as you can see, the motion is buttery smooth. And now let's go ahead and play some PlayStation 5. And because both of these products are Sony, 
this TV will automatically adjust to give you the optimized game mode settings. And once again, you can see the motion is pretty insane. This TV has also very low latency and it's very responsive. And once again, the sound is pretty impressive. As far as my review goes for this TV, the 85X80CK, it's a huge thumbs up. The only downside to this TV that I could find was that the wall mount bracket holes on the TV are kind of low. So when you hang this TV on the wall, it will hang pretty high. So make sure you install the wall mount on the wall lower to compensate for this issue. Otherwise, this TV is a steal at $13.99. We did get this on sale at Sam's Club, and currently as of April 8th, the TV is $15.99. But even at that price point, it's definitely worth it. And guys, don't forget, hit like, share, comment, subscribe, and for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And we're gonna see you in the next video real soon. Peace.